Hello guys, this is Spicy Bill and welcome back to another episode of Gunpla Review. So today we'll be looking at more Federation Grub Suits. Obviously these guys are a little bit more advanced toward the uh, mid to late uh, Universal Century. Obviously the Jagan's been used uh, for a very long time actually. Uh, I think the Jagan was actually in service longer than the gym because uh, they, they still got used in F91. Which is uh, very surprising. So, uh, since uh, Shard's counterattack, all the way up to uh, Gundam F91. So, the, these guys have been in service for a long time. But you know what? These guys are actually pretty reliable. You know why? Because they are not manufactured by the Federation. The Jagan is actually manufactured by Anaheim Electronics. So, yeah, that's uh, that's actually very interesting to know. <laughs> um, the fact that, you know, they got Anaheim to produce their uh, grunt suits. It's uh, very, very surprising. And you know what else Anaheim Electronics developed? Uh, they also developed the grunt suits for Neo Zeon. The Gear Doga and the Gear Zulu were all sourced from uh, Anaheim Electronics. So they're making grunt suits for both sides. That's funny. That's funny. Yeah, anyway, so obviously this here is the Stark Jagan, and uh, it's a relatively dated kit. You can see, uh, you know, old dated articulation and stuff like that. I think I talk about the Jagan many times. This is actually one of the most uh, reprinted high Universal Century kits in existence. There's so many variants of the Jagan. And believe it or not, uh, in Gundam uh, Build Divers, they actually uh, made an improvement to the Jagan and guess what that is basically uh, what they did with the Jagan is uh, they added the uh, extra point of articulation inside the hips so while still using the ball joint to the uh, polycap system uh, it actually has a functional thigh cut that's hidden inside the joint so that's actually pretty interesting although how well it works I don't know I have no I, I have no interest of ever buying that kit so obviously here's the Stark Jagan. Oh, uh, well, I have most of the equipment removed. And surprisingly, what I learned is that the Gustav car actually have the same exact hands as the uh, uh, the Jagan. So it's a big hit with a very small hand. You can see I put the uh, hand with the Jagan beam rifle onto the uh, Stark Jagan. So let me just show you how how that look like. It's exactly the same. Yeah, very surprising. This is its actual beam rifle. And let's go ahead and just uh, gear this guy up. You know, uh, this guy is actually pretty nice. The uh, Stark Jagan's got some good equipment. You know, he's got all these armor parts that you can put on to uh, spice it up quite a bit. Uh, if you watch the Gundam Unicorn anime, the Stark Jagan actually went up against the Kshatriya. And it actually held its own for a while against such a powerful uh, prototype, customized prototype mobile suit. That is very impressive for you know for something that's just basically nothing more than a grunt suit. Yeah, I'm actually quite impressed by that. I think they did a pretty good job uh, with the manufacturing of this uh, mobile suit. <laughs> It's definitely uh, not like the Goose of Carl where it gets taken out in one hit. <laughs> that is actually super sad. I don't know why. And even in Gundam Unicorn, the uh, Goose of Carl got destroyed by a very old uh, prototype mobile suit. Although, of course, the DJ is actually not a grunt suit. It's basically, uh, I think, or at least that particular version, the one that's been used in uh, Gundam Narrative, was not, uh, what's that, uh, wasn't really uh, like a mass produced version. I think that's, that's one of the uh, proto custom prototype uh, DJs. So maybe a better performance and stuff like that. But it's still very sad to see it, you know. Uh, someone says it's going to be like a long running gag of uh, the Gustav Carl constantly getting owned in every single episode. Or, or any every appearance that he's uh, every time he makes an appearance it just gets wrecked <laughs> it would be funny uh this thing is actually seen in hathaway's flash 
So I guess uh, we'll see how it fares in Hathaway's Flash once the uh, they release it. I, I still think it's going to get destroyed. You know why? Because, well, it's a, it's a freaking Federation suit, right? It's made by the Federation, so... Maybe uh, maybe Sunrise have something against the Federation or something. I, I know, like, one of their... I, I'm thinking one of their new, like, whoever's in charge of uh, Bandai Spirits right currently, or the one who's in charge of the, uh, the model kit development department, really likes Mono Eyes. <laughs> so, Zigzion right there. And he's probably uh, looking to, uh, you know, uh, just get more Xeon stuff out there or something like that because uh, we have seen evidence from a lot of uh, you know uh, a lot of very nice Mono Ike's kits being developed especially uh, you know from last year we seen the uh, uh, the Sazabi the real gray Sazabi possibly the uh, best Gunpla kit ever made so far and we also seen uh, some a lot of good stuff coming out uh, from the, uh, you know, from the Xeon catalog, so, yeah, but we'll see, uh, the, while the Master Grace are still always getting shafted, I think it's mostly just a Neo Xeon, uh, stuff getting shafted, uh, the, uh, you know, the One Year War, uh, stuff is still okay, like the Gear Doga, the Zakus, the Zakus surprisingly still hold its own very well, uh, even, you know, despite being such a, more than, I think it's like more than 12 year old, the, the Master Grade kits is more than 12 year old, you know, it's still doing pretty well. So here we have it, here is the uh, Stark Jagan almost completely rearmed. I think this is still one of the better uh, custom Jagan kits out there, this is actually really nice. Yeah. So it got tons of armor, tons of equipment. got a beam saber and it's got a bazooka so this is a this is actually a very good value <laughs> yeah take a look at that this thing is pretty damn cool oh so yeah we've got all these stuff going on here got these missile pots up on the shoulder yeah definitely better than that joke uh, the, the gym 3 <laughs> boy all right so this is this. There's also the prototype Stark Jagan with the giant nuclear missiles on the shoulders. Yeah, that, that thing is very scary. I wonder what happened if, if those things like just blow up. Someone hit it accidentally and then that thing just blows up. That would be hilarious. Okay, and obviously the Gustav Carl's no, uh, needs no introduction. This big bulky suit actually manufactured by the Earth Federation itself. Uh, total waste of money, I guess. You know, they put all these... Uh, I don't know, put all this armor on the suit, that really doesn't do anything. It can't even detect an enemy mobile suit sneaking up behind it. And it's supposed to be super advanced and highly armored. And yeah, it gets taken out just by getting its one of its arm cut off, making it completely uh, ineffective. <laughs> so I, I guess this guy's just, this, the Goose of Carl is basically just a joke, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I mean, seriously. He's got all these armor, except it's almost completely useless, right, in combat, because we, we have never actually seen it in action. <laughs> so, it, it looks cool, it looks really cool, but, you know, uh, I guess we just need, like, better pilots. Uh, they need to put somebody better in a Goose of Carl or something like that. I wonder if they stole, like, you know, technology from the Zaku 3 to develop this suit, because, you know, I see a lot of Zaku 3 in here. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they uh, the Gustav Carl is built using a salvage Zaku 3s. Because, I mean, look at the proportions. This is obviously a Zaku 3 <laughs> in the Federation form, right? Right? <laughs> All right, and anyway, uh, that's I think that's pretty much it for uh, this re-review. I mean, I just did the Gustav Carl recently, so we really don't need to talk about this guy. Uh, it, it's a very nice kit for what it is. The uh, price is a little high, but you know, you're actually getting a lot. Consider how big this guy is. You know, take a look at that. Look at how big the uh, Gustav Carl is compared to the Jagan. So, 
anyway with that being said that's pretty much it for this video thanks for watching